Hello everyone. We team five aspirants are excited to present our teamwork. But before, let me introduce my teammates. I, Sushriya, Rehman, Prabhakaran, and Naresh are here to explain about our topic: <coughs> pesticides. Coming to the key concepts, we have general introduction, pesticide classification, biodegradation, pesticide pollution, and residue analysis. So I will be telling about the pesticide general introduction. Now, what are pesticides? Pesticides are substances used by human beings to kill or deter organisms, pests that threaten our health and well-being. Now, coming to what are pests? A pest is in any animal or plant which has an harmful effect on humans, their food, or the living conditions. Like example. Bed bugs, black ants, cockroaches, fleas, houseflies, and moths. Now, these pesticides can be classified in many ways due to their wide variety of usage. But one of the main aspect to classify them is by the types of pests they kill. So, first one and the main one is insecticides. As the name suggests, these type of pesticides are used. To kill insects, for example, DDT, aldrin, and malathion. DDT is banned in US, but it is still used in India in many areas. Second type of pesticides are herbicides. They are used to kill unwanted herbs and weeds, like triazin and auxin derivatives like 2,4-T and 2,4-D. Thirdly, we have rodenticides. When they these pesticides kill organisms like rats and mice. For example, warfarin, zinc sulfate, and zinc phosphide. And next, we have fungicides. These pesticides kill fungal organisms, and these are recognized as the most pollute. They give a lot of pollution to the environment. For example, Rodex mixture. It is a mixture of copper sulfate plus lime plus water. And next is algicides. These pesticides kill algal blooms and pathogenic algae. For example, copper sulfate. And lastly, the important pesticide is nematocytes. These type of organisms kill nematohelminthes. For example, chlorocyprin, methyl bromide. So here ends the classification of pesticides. Now let's see how pesticides are degraded, which is explained by my fellow teammate, Naresh. Today we discuss about pesticide biodegradation. Biodegradation is a process which pesticide is transformed to a beginning substance that is environmentally compatible with the site to which it is was applied. However, the most common type of biodegradation is carried out in out in soil microorganisms, especially like fungi and bacteria that uses pesticides as food source. Example, soil fumigant, methyl bromide, herbicide daplon, fungicide chromnope. Criteria for biodegradation. First one is organisms must have necessary catabolic activity required for degradation of contaminant first rate of bring down the concentration of contaminant and second one is the target contaminant must be bioavailability. The third one is soil conditions must be connected for microbial plant growth and enzymatic activity. The fourth one is the cost of bioredimation must be less than other technologies of removal of contaminants. We, we discuss about strategies for biodegradation. Passive and instructive bioremediation. It is the natural bioremediation of contaminant by the indigenous microorganisms and the rate of degradation is very slow. The second one is biostimulation. The biostimulation is the, the practice of addiction of nitrogen and phosphorus to stimulate indigenous microorganisms in cell. And third one is bioinventing. 
process of bio stimulation by which gases stimulates like oxygen and methane are added to forced into soil to stimulate ma- to stimulate microbial activity the fourth one is bio augmentation if the inactive introduction of microorganisms is contaminated sites soil to facilitate biodegradation now i am here to explain the different approaches for biodegradation now it is done with three main types like bacterial degradation fungal degradation and enzymatic degradation coming to what bacterial degradation is most bacterial species degrade pesticides most of the pesticides undergo partial degradation leading to the formation and accumulation of metabolites coming to what fungal degradation is fungi degrade pesticides by introducing microstructural changes to the pest rendering it non toxic and are released to soil where it is susceptible to further biodegradation by bacteria now what enzymatic degradation is enzymes have a great potentiality to effectively tran- transform and detoxify polluting substances because they have been recognized to be able to transform pollutants at a detectable rate and are potentially suitable to restore polluted environment now now let's see about what is pesticide pollution which is explained by my fellow teammate rehman subha hello guys now i am going to explain about the pesticide pollution why pesticide and the harmful Pesticides contain ingredients such as oxygen, chlorine, sulfur, phosphorus, nitrogen, and bromine, as well as heavy metals such as arsenic, copper, sulfates, lead, and mercury, etc. Pesticides, being toxic chemicals, can interfere with the environment and cause harms in several ways. When applied on agriculture lands and domestic gardens, they run off these lands and come come in contact with natural resources. How does it? pollute the environment this is normally occurs when heavy heavy wind or rain falls on the aforementioned lands spreading the pesticides being toxic chemicals into unintended areas coming in contact with natural resources such as clean air water land plants and animals thereby contaminating or harming them what happens after contamination once the aforementioned land and resources are contaminated or harmed by pesticides they are deemed unsuitable and harmful to the environment as well as to people communities what are the environmental impacts of pesticide pollution some of the environmental impacts associated with indiscriminate use of pesticides are listed below pesticides are chemicals that are used to kill or control pests this includes herbicides that are used for getting rid of weeds insecticides used to treat fungicides not necrosis used to control as well as rodenticides used to treat vertebrate poisoning are the main pesticides in this and the ddt is a class 2 insecticides meaning it is moderately toxic it is important to note that it was banned in the us in sorry because of health risks that emerged from its usage ddt is very insoluble in water and very persistent in the environment making it a highly polluting hazard endosulfane pesticide was used widely on crops like cashew cotton tea paddy fruits and other others until 2011 when the supreme court banned its production and distribution the health effects of the chemical include neuro neurotoxicity late sexual maturity physical deformities poisoning among people especially newborns have suffered deformities health complications and loss of family members due to exposure to the agri agrochemical that's it thank you guys yeah <clears throat> yeah i am the person who explained that pesticides reduce residue testing yeah you are what you are what you eat so what if you food consists pesticides what effect it will have on your body or what will still be healthy yeah 
How can you ensure pesticides levels stay within the limits by pesticides res residue testing? Pesticides are identified and qualified by comparing the sample extra to the calibration standard solution and analyzing by the liquid or gas chromatography coupled with the mass spectro spectroscopy. According to all this testing, it came to know that these foods are having lowest pesticides less than 1%. Percentage. Uh, for example, avocado, sweet corn, and pineapple. Yeah, yeah pesticides uh, and pros and cons. In this, uh, we are, uh, we are, I'm going to explain the advantages of pesticides, pros and cons. Pesticides can help to improve growth behavior of crops, higher crop health, can help to reduce global hunger, lower food price, and pesticides are rather inexpensive. And as same as we have uh, disadvantages in pesticides, pros and cons. Use of pesticides can lead to serious oil pollution, groundwater pollution is a problem, can reduce population of important insects, pollination may become harder, adverse health effects on farmers. These are the adverse health effects on farmers. These are the disadvantages.